Oh, hello. And welcome to a very special edition of the Cooking Light Taste Test. I'm Chris. And I'm Jamie. So what are we tasting today? We are tasting pumpkin spice ready to eat snacks. We're gonna taste uh, to see how pumpkin spicy it is, how much it <laughs> makes us wanna put on sweaters, and then we're gonna look at the nutrition information <laughs> because we are cooking light. All right, well, let's get tasting. Let's do it. Shall we? <clears throat> Feels like fall already. <laughs> Uh, first up, we're going to taste two different ready-to-drink iced pumpkin spice lattes. PSLs. Yes. Right. Cheers. Cheers. That has a really strong pumpkin-y start, and then it gets more pumpkin-y, <laughs> and then it cranks up to 11, and then it just... <laughs> Wow. Even more pumpkin-y right after. That can't be healthy. No, it tastes a little chemically to me. Is there any coffee in there? I don't know. I don't think so. But <laughs> How many pumpkins do you rate it? Um, on taste, I'm gonna give that, out of five, I'm gonna give that like a three and a half pumpkins. It tastes like perfume. I Doesn't, rate it one pumpkin. Don't all PSLs taste a little like perfume? I mean, yeah, but I still want to enjoy it. Like. All right. All right, let's, let's drink the second one. Latte number two. Latte number two. Oh, wow. That's like a, that doesn't taste like pumpkin spice to me. That tastes like, like caramel. Spice. It's just fall in a cup. Like they combined every traditional fall flavor and it's a lot. See, this is more bitter to me. Mm -hmm. It has like kind of a more bitter chemical aftertaste. So I'm reading this like a two, two pumpkins. I'm still at a one pumpkin. All right, so here we have, uh, let's see, number one, yes. the lighter one, and number two, the darker one. I really wanted to like this. I saw it in the store and I almost bought it. Which one? The Califia. The Califia? It's, it's soy and dairy free, so that kind of like appealed to me. I was just curious about it, um, but I didn't love it. Serving size is eight ounces. Only 80 calories and three grams of fat, no sap fat, no cholesterol, 170 milligrams of sodium, so that's 7% um, of your daily not value, bad. 12 carbs, and only 10 grams of sugar. It's really not bad. Let's look at this one. Go on. All right, pumpkin spice latte flavored with other natural flavors, chilled espresso beverage from the big guys. So this is eight fluid ounces, 150 calories, two and a half grams of fat, one and a half sat fat. That's 8% of your DV in just one drink. It's got 110 milligrams of sodium, 24 grams of sugar. I think it's weird that one almost has double the calories and sugar for the same serving size as this one. I'm a little, I'm disappointed, Starbucks. For the makers of the PSL. Go and get one hot, I guess, is yeah, the, the rule here. We're doing this one a little different. We actually, we know what it is. It's fun. It's Noosa Mates Pumpkin Spice Yogurt. I'm taking a bite. Oh, you're going, Ready? You're going for it? Okay, go ahead. It's not overwhelmingly pumpkin-y, but it's good. I think it's delicious. I love the crunch from the granola and the little baby white chocolate chips and the, and the pumpkin seeds. Jamie, what do you rate this? Oh, this is like leaves falling. Definitely uh, four pumpkins for me. Four pumpkins. I like this a lot. Okay, I'm gonna give this a three and a half. I like it, but it doesn't feel like essence of fall to me. It's still pretty tasty. So this is 11 grams of fat, six grams of sat fat. That's 30% of your DV. Why do you ruin everything I love? I'm so sorry. <laughs> it's got 130 milligrams of sodium, which is not bad. Um, 24 grams of sugar and nine grams of protein. So that's pretty good. Well, I think I know where that sap fat's coming from. Whole milk and cream cheese. Yes. I'd say like if you had an especially healthy dinner and mm -hmm. you were looking for something to treat yourself, this would be a really good way to do it. So Jamie, you're really excited about this. What is I it that we love, have in front of us? I love toaster pastries and I like them cold. <laughs> Delicious. So, oh, this is bringing me back to 94. Wait, I have to get a little bit with that actually has some stuff in it. There we go. <laughs> I can't tell if this is a good version of a cold toaster pastry or a bad one. It doesn't taste like burnt plastic to you. 
I mean, yes, but... 94 was a better year. It was a better vintage for the cold toaster pastries. This might be one of those nostalgic experiences better left in the past. I built this experience up in my head so much and I was so ready and so excited and then I took a bite and it was just like chemical. I guess I'd give it like a two, 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 two pumpkins. Yeah, this is a one and a half pumpkin for me. Mm -hmm. it, it gets the half because it's still a toaster pastry. <laughs> but the taste was not really what I was hoping for. This is what it was. It was not the um, the big brand name Pop-Tart. This was uh, Nature's Path Organic Frosted Pumpkin Pie Toaster Pastries. Organic, again. Four grams of fat, two of sat fat. So that's still 10% of your DV. Although this is usually like split, this is sort of like a breakfast replacement. So if you're just gonna eat one of these for breakfast, it's not the end of the world. 200 calories. Um, 18 grams of sugar, 125 milligrams of sodium, which is not bad, um, 38 grams of carbs, and ooh, 8% of your dB of iron. Nice. Yeah. I love my Pop-Tarts, mm -hmm. but one piece of beef I have with them is that the serving size is one Pop-Tart, but they're packaged in packages of two. So like when you look and it's like, oh, this isn't that bad, it's you know X amount of calories, it's really just for half the package. And it's the same for this too. There's that's only for one Pop Tart. That's true. Or so one you're looking at pastry. 400 calories for one, not two. Four grams of sat fat, 250 milligrams of sodium, mm -hmm. and 36 grams of sugar. And that was something I only recently discovered, and that's why it's been so long since I've had one. That is sneaky. Sneaky, sneaky. All right, so the next thing is, what is this? Soup. It's soup. <laughs> this feels like fall. Oh. oh, there's stuff in the bottom. Make sure to get a little bit of everything. Okay. <laughs> it's creamy. That, feels, that tastes so good. That's fall to me. More, comforting. Mm -hmm, warm and comforting and like hearty feeling. I really like this. I'm getting like, there's like little oh, bits of... nutmeg, something. Mm -hmm. All right, how would you rate this, just on taste? Ugh, this is like four pumpkins for me. Mm-hmm, I'm gonna say four and a half. Ooh, wow, you're going half pumpkins? Yep. So like four, one, two, one, three, two, three, four, four, and a leaf. Or, or five, there's like a half pumpkin. And, and a half, just... Wanna look at it? Yeah. All right. Okay, so this is um, pumpkin bisque from the Fresh Market. Serving size is one container, and it's 400 calories. <laughs> um, so um, there's 22 grams of fat, it's 28% of your daily value, and um, 13 grams of saturated fat, 65% of your daily value. This is becoming less redeeming. There's also 32% 30 of your daily sodium, 46 grams of carbs, 26 grams of sugar, um, and only seven grams of protein. I would. The sweet probably potato, try sense. to make my own version of this yeah. and use like whole milk instead of light cream. See if I could get some of that sat fat down, but this is delicious. It is. The sweet potatoes and the pumpkin play really well together. Mm -hmm. Jamie, I have to tell you something. What's up? We've only made it halfway through our pumpkin spice taste test. Ooh, wow. We have a lot more pumpkin to go. Are you ready to yeah. continue next week? Yep, yeah, let's do this. All right, so if you liked this, uh, please comment below. Tell us what pumpkin spice uh, foods are your favorite. Be sure to uh, also hit like and share. If you're watching on YouTube right now, press the little bell button so you get notifications every time we post a video. That's it, okay, see you next week, thanks, bye. bye.